Example one, writing a limit of a Riemann sums as an integral. We want to express the limit as n approaches infinity of i is equal to one to n of x subscript i cubed plus x subscript i sine of x subscript i times delta x. Okay, as an integral on the interval going on a closed interval from zero to pi. Okay, so recall that we know that the integral from a to b of the function f of x dx. Okay, so what do we know about a? Well, we know that a represents zero from the closed interval, and we know that b is equal to pi, and we know that f of x is the following function. Well, the function is given right here. So we know it's gonna be x cubed plus x times the sine of x, okay? And then that delta x is the width, so we have our dx, okay? So if we want to write this integral, we know that it's going to go from a to b, which is going to go from 0 to pi. We know that our function is x cubed plus x times the sine of x times dx, and therefore there is our integral.